You want to make your edit like this? Swiftpack will help you. I know, I know this one just like Swift Tool, but hear me out. You don't need to click button on or off anymore. Just drag and drop. That all. This editing pack helped me a lot with making a simple edit. I mean, it really fast. And there was so much thing you can try with it. I put it in my description and, yep, it free. If you feel a good and worth to donate, hope you give me a little motivate to make more and update this pack in future. So let's head into the part how to use it. But hey, remember I just showed the way how to use some of new effect, not the old one, okay? Twixter, but use adjustment clip. This one, really simple. You ready? Your clip sync with the beat and your clips and your timeline must have the same FPS too. Then drop the adjustment clip on your video, drag this Twixter and put it in adjustment clip, custom the percent speed you want. Right here, I always use 50% or 25% if you don't have enough length. After that, you just need to expand it until it fits. Whole clip like this and then you cut the adjustment clip. Then wait the render, done. Cut out flash. This one easy too. Just lift up your second clip, freeze it and compound it. Okay, I will put it right here. Then open fusion page, add polygon and cut out your character. Add a little feather, like this. Then drop the cutout flash on this compound clip. Turn on the scale and set this Y as zero. Then hold Alt, make a copy. And open fusion page again. Turn off this polygon and add another poly to cut the other left part out. Turn on this poly again. Lift the one under up. Then change this one to make it scale out fit the cut. I will add a flashbang effect behind to make it look better. Mask, zoom in. Right here, I have two clip like this. I will lift the first one up and move the second in to make a transition. I will cut the first one right here and the second right here under the first one. Open the first one in Fusion page because the clips have black bars, so I use crop to remove it. You don't need to care about this one. Add a polygon and turn it off to easy to make mask. We will turn it back on later. Let me speed up this part. After that, find mask zoom in and connect it right here. Set this pivot at the place you mask. I will set this. Scale is 2.5 and go to the last frame. Then you go back to edit page to check it scale out the screen. If it not, keep and squeeze the scale it until it scale out. Go back, Fusion page, copy this media in one and polygon. Then make copy connect to mask zoom in. At this polygon, check the invert. To fix this mask problem, you just need to increase the border width. Mass zoom in, you can freeze the frame at beginning if you want. 
See it look really good, right? Then you click copy the pivot. Open the second clip under in Fusion page and paste the pivot right here. Open modifiers, set, offset at 0.5 and scale is 0.5. Go to Tools and adjust the pivot at the place you want. Now go back to Edit Page and turn on the first clip. This one kind of complicated, but hope it helped you. One frame shape and slide transition. With one frame, you just need drag adjustment clip and cut one frame out of it, then add the effect. Same with one frame for shape. I recommend you use it with two or three frame if you edit on 60 frames per second's timeline. About slide transition, it kinda easy. Put two adjustment clip between two clips, then add slide X in the first one. Control the curve until you feel it good. Then copy and paste attribute. Right here, you hold Control and click two point, right click and choose reverse, or you can hit V. Then change this scale opposite with the first one, negative 0.3 to 0.3, that all. And once again, I put this pack in my description. Hope you like it, and thank you for watching. Just comment the transition or effect you want me to add to this pack. I will try update it in future. Thank you and peace out.